This is Joseph Lecoutone. He's a teacher in Northern Virginia. He gives lectures to his students about the history of their country. But his country is very different. Le Couton is a Maasai tribesman. He was born in a small village in northern Kenya. Like all Maasai boys, he took care of his family's cattle. Even now, as an adult, he still goes back to Kenya every summer to work with the cattle. Growing up in a situation like that... Made he says that his early life was very different from American children. By the time he was seven, he was out of the house and had to learn skills like how to survive in the wild. By the time he was 10, his job was to take care of the cattle all day. But Le Couton was also different from other Maasai children. He went to school and he practiced his English. Later, he went to college in the United States and got a job as a teacher. Now he has written about his life in two countries in a book called Facing the Lion. The book's title refers to an event in his childhood when he came face to face with a lion. The symbol of bravery in my community is a lion. <laughs> Having faced that lion when I was, you know, 14, sort of changed everything for me. And uh, so I think we all face challenges in life and uh, we all have our own lions. <laughs> Le Couton shares stories from his Maasai childhood to help kids learn about a culture that's very different from their own, and also principles that they can apply in their own lives. <laughs> this project is Le Couton's first book. His aim is to connect traditional Maasai life and modern American life, and to show children the importance of strength and hope even if their lives are difficult. The information I would like them to get from my book is hope, it's determination, it's courage, it's facing your lions. All I'm trying to tell them is I conquered, I conquered, I tried to conquer some of my lions, so can you.